what's just such a different feeling aside from the fact you weren't here last year being able to go through these practices? Uh, coaching. Um, being able to be coached up by the best. Um, we have, I feel like we have one of the best coaching staffs, if not the best coaching staff in the nation. So um, I take pride in um, listening to what they tell me to do and trying to execute it to the best of my ability. Is a big part of that, though? I mean, the, the production you had last year, you showed you could get to the quarterback, you could be disruptive in the backfield? Oh, yeah. Um, the coaches, when they recruited me, um, I feel like they knew what they were getting. So um, they've just been working with me, trying to get me to reach my full potential. How would you evaluate your spring so far? It's been good. Um, just trying to clean little things up. Um, there's always little things we can fix. Just trying to win the game. It's a game of inches. Renzo, can you say anything different than Coach Pruitt? His sec second year, I guess he expects y'all to know the system better now. And, uh, can you see any different? I know he's intense out there on the practice field, but can you see anything even a little different in his coaching tendencies over your first year? Um, not really. Um, he's really just continuing to teach us what we need to know about his defense. Um, He's going to stay intense. He's been intense since the day I met him. So <laughs> he's going to stay that way. So it's nothing I didn't know. <laughs> nothing new. What yeah, nothing new. Yeah. What are some areas where you think you've uh, shown a lot of improvement? Um, using my hands. Um, I was just talking about it with one of the coaches that were here. Um, just coming off the ball last year, I feel like I just, it was natural, um, just pure instinct. Now it's um, working with my hands, um, making sure that my hands and feet work together. Can, can you tell a difference? Yeah, I can tell a big difference, <laughs> especially pass rushing against uh, the offensive line and just just feeling comfortable getting around the edge. Is there a confidence not only with y'all's group as linebackers inside, outside, but also behind you as well that you've got a lot of experience coming back and you can, I guess, play with a little bit more confidence all the way around? Oh, yeah. Um, we just feel comfortable as a defense right now. We had, I feel like we had a pretty good practice today. so. Um, <laughs> there are a lot of players that can play for us right now, so we're just going to have to wait and see who, who the coaches pick. You got some guys moving around, like Nate Transmore did inside linebacker, Nate Chooks is over with you guys and yeah. outside linebackers and stuff like that. I mean, how much you know do you guys cross-train work with different coaches? I know you've mentioned working a little bit with Coach Rocker. How much does that happen? Um, I, think, I feel like today we uh, shook things up a little bit, uh, moved, moved a few players around, but um, – it's just for spring right now. We're just testing the water, seeing where each player can play. Because this defense, we recruited a lot of versatile players, so uh, we can move around. So I guess that's what coach is trying to do. Who's some of the young guys you've seen step up at defense or offense? Caught your eye so far? Um, defensively, I know I, I stay around the defense. Um, so I have a little John Ledbetter. He's he's been doing well. Um, working hard, um, Nature is, that's my boy. So of course, <laughs> I have to you know, give him kudos to how hard he's been working, taking coaching. Um, the the two Mississippi boys, they've been playing well. Um, pretty much every freshman that came in early has been doing a great job. Some offensive linemen have made some pretty good impressive comments about you and your improvement, your reaction to something like that. Uh, thank you. <laughs> um, I mean, we're all working hard as a team to get better. And <clears throat> um, I feel like um, if we're not pushing each other, then we're not doing each other a favor. We're just hurting each other. So offensive linemen, we're competing against each other as hard as we can in practice. So I'll get him one time, then he'll give me another time. So we're just going back and forth. It's, it's a battle. Where's your level of confidence on what you've been able to accomplish so far this spring? Um, try to keep my confidence level as high as possible, especially with coaches. <laughs> with coaches coaching you up, so uh, I'm keeping my confidence level high, pretty high. Just trying to work hard. I'll work everybody else. Do you? I mean, the expectations. You know, the guy right over here. He said some pretty high things about you a few weeks ago about yeah. what he thinks you can be when your career is all said and done here. Do you allow that to, to sink in with you, or is it just let's see what happens tomorrow? Yeah, I just can't let it sink in. Uh, uh, there's been a lot of players that came through here, great players. Um, I mean, just to be considered among one of the greats would be a, uh, an honor of myself if I left here and could say that I was one of the greats that played here. So I know it's going to take a lot of work, so I can't let it stop now. Uh, Jordan, uh, Jordan recently brought up the fact that he brought up Jake Gaines and how you know, he was running a few guys in sprints. And he's been kind of impressive. He turns in 10 tackles in the scrimmage last you know, on Saturday. <laughs> What do you think about him? What have you seen out of him? Is he going to be able to help you guys? Oh, yeah. I expect a lot out of Jake. Um, he's a great player. Um, came from UAB. Um, I mean, we're going to have to see what he does in the season because he's been balling out this spring.
we were talking about competing against officers. What about just a month?